Oh, look too bad. We got another 50 yards and he went and his yeah. front tire just sucked. Just the whole bike went <laughs> in front of it. I was like, whoa, dude, you're totally, you're stuck there. <laughs> it's totally nice meeting you, but we're going to be on our way. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Tears Frontiers. In this series, we travel all over the world on our KTM 1190 adventure motorcycle. We've been through the Americas, we've been through Africa, and now we are currently in Alaska. This is true. In the last episode, we had an incredible day going through the Denali Highway, ending up in that crazy funky town. Yeah. Bump. <laughs> we had been rescued by yet yeah. another friendly face and uh, yeah, Things were a, looking good. Yeah, and just a PSA thank you again to everybody for who's who's you know helped us along on our journey. Yes. Let it be driving out in the middle of nowhere to come rescue us, commenting and liking and subscribing yeah. to our videos, to our Patreon supporters. And thank you for watching. Yeah. But the dark clouds were brewing above us. Denali viewing point and as you can see right there you can't see Denali it's too <laughs> it's too misty but this has its own beauty to it so it's very very nice it's a chilly rainy day yeah. today the ride through Hatcher Pass is supposed to be really pretty we may not be able to see all of its glory due to cloud coverage yeah. But I think it'll still be a nice ride. No. We'll see. It'll be beautiful. Yeah. I always have Marissa, so. Oh. Always beautiful. Oh. <laughs> and it was raining on us, but we really wanted to do this road that people had mentioned was so beautiful, but also it could be a little technical. So we were slightly concerned about the weather, but really excited to do Hatcher's Pass. Yeah. We were going to meet up with our friend Ryan, who we had seen all throughout our journeys through Alaska, going up to Dead Horse, uh, coming back down from Dead Horse. He had been with us when we were stuck over on the Denali Highway. Yeah. And now he was going to come out on his motorcycle. And he's got a 1290. He's yes. got the big brother to my little 1190. Yes. So pretty cool news here. Uh, we are currently packing up, as you can see, ready to head out to Hatcher Pass on our way over to Palmer, Alaska. Ryan yeah. and Laurel, who they have been helping us throughout this whole Alaska journey, they are going to hopefully meet us along the way and kind of tour guide us through Hatcher Pass. Yeah. So, He's going on a motor scooter, so it's just going to be him. Okay, so Ryan is going on the motorcycle. And yeah, so we've previously seen them in a vehicle, but yeah. they are also motorcycle folk. So yeah, exciting stuff. He said, meet me at this uh, coffee shop. supposed to meet up with Ryan. Two dollar muffins. Wow. And so we were there, the muffins were great and very uh, affordable. Yeah, the coffee was, mm, but it's okay. <laughs> so we pulled up and there was like a picture, a little painted where you can stick your head in of like a, a dog sled team. Yay! I 
can hear that that KTM sound in the yep. distance and he came right up and we were super, super excited to do Hatcher's Pass with him. It was raining just a little bit. But we knew that we were going to be rising in elevation as we did this pass. It's called a pass for a reason. It does go over the mountains. But it started off just going through these beautiful forests. Usually passes are cut down by like, you know, rivers and things that saw the earth into, mm -hmm. you know, little corridors. And you know, it was just amazing seeing these bubbling little brooks around yeah. and through the, through the trees you can just hear, you know, just nature at its finest. really special once we were able to look out and see these incredibly jagged mountains out ahead of us. And then we made our way into the mountains and then of course the rain got more and more intense. There were a couple offshoots that Ryan, that a lot of people said, go down every offshoot that you can, you know. Mm. Anything that turns off the road will lead to something beautiful. And I totally don't doubt them. But on a nice day. <laughs> on a nice day, you know. And so we were following Ryan and he said, yeah, well this one kind of goes off to a little valley peak, which is really nice, but the road kind of looks crappy. You know, I've been down it before on a good day and it was kind of difficult. But mm. so he said, you want to try it? And I said, yeah, I'm not, you know, it's like he double dog dared me. I was like, sure, <laughs> I'm not going to back down. Gosh, you get two guys on motorcycles with each two other. Men, and <laughs> two grown men. No one will say, no, I don't want to do that road. <laughs> on KCMs. <laughs> so we ventured forth. It's berry picking season, folks. It, there oh, it sure so is. so many people just tick -tick 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 Yeah, you know. tons of people on these roads. I, I was so impressed with the vehicles that they were taking yeah. out there. I go down these crappy roads that are rutted and rocky and muddy, and, and I'm like, yeah, we did that, and it's awesome. Yeah, and there's like, like a Honda Civic, like a Tesla, a little parked on the side, <laughs> a little Prius with, you know, three wheels and a spare on it. And I'm like, you made it down here? Yeah. Ryan was in the lead and we kind of get to like this really bad like baby yeah. diarrhea section of the road. Yeah. He kind of went through a little mud puddle of craziness and yeah. you know he looked at me and he's like you want to keep going and I was like yeah <laughs> sure do you know and so we got another 50 yards <laughs> and he went <laughs> and his yeah. front tire just sucked. just the whole bike went <laughs> in front of it I was like whoa dude you're totally you're stuck there <laughs> <laughs> it's totally nice meeting you, but we're going to be on our way. That is not what happened. But uh, <laughs> it did look bad, though. I mean, you just went yes. into the mud. This is true. Uh -oh. Oh. I was like, you're going to oh, be oil no. a thousand years from now. They're going to find your remains because you're just stuck here, dude. This is a bog. You're you're screwed. <laughs> the other thing is that our motorcycle looked the part already because we had just done the whole Dalton Highway and yeah. it got covered in mud and we didn't do a good job of washing it off and it, it just it nope. looked very dirty. But his motorcycle 
looked gorgeous. He I mean, had just it looked like, it. Yeah, yeah, it just come off of the showroom. Yes. And here but no he, more. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Here he goes straight into the mud, and it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's painful. And he couldn't even get off the bike because there's no. no. He was just like, it was. I don't even understand the consistency of this dirt or mud. It was yeah. just like. It was like a trampoline kind of. Not. But it would just absorb and try to suck in and take your shoes off type of stuff. Was... Yeah, you said you knew it was bad when you saw him go and at some point in time, like he put his foot down and the ground kind of went like Yeah, he just, like, <laughs> did a ripple effect, like little aftershocks. And I was like, whoa, I don't even know what that is, but I'm not going through that. And he oh. couldn't get, I was like, dude, you need to go forward. Cause he's at this crazy incline. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, but you need to continue forward because getting you backwards is that's right. uphill through this, you know, crazy material is not going to happen. And, you know, and he was pretty adamant. He was like, I'm not going any, if I go forward, then I'll have two wheels stuck. Yeah. And I was like, ah, you're onto something here, buddy. And try to pull it forward. Um, it was stuck, stuck, stuck. So he's on there doing that awesome bike move. <laughs> That you, everybody knows, right? The good old motor scooter launch. It's the row, launch. row, row your bike. The row, row, row your bike. Man. So Marissa got on one side, I got on the other, and he did his little, yep, his little like his movement. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got him out backwards. backwards. <laughs> So we just pulled the bike backwards and we got it out of this puddle. My, my mind was blown. I was like, thank you for... We just pulled and it was like... It was just... It's super like suction cup. Ugh. Right here. Watch this. Oh wow. Now there was a couple from Colorado in a vehicle that had pulled over to help us. But they had a winch, Wise. which would have been awesome. But mm -hmm. he was like, well, let me, before we break out the winch, let's try to do this. A winch. You can't say winch. No, no. they are bringing you food and stuff. They did not bring a winch. <laughs> they did not bring a winch, even though that would have been lovely. That <laughs> would have been lovely that would have been for lovely. you. But before he can get to us, we had recovered our own vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, and we turned the heck around. Yep. <laughs> we got the heck out of there, and uh, it said, "That's right." Yeah, man, that was a cool little off-road, but let's uh, let's just stick to the main goopy highway. <laughs> Made it out of the mud pit. This is Summit Lake on Hatcher's Pass in Alaska. Now, on Hatcher's Pass, there is an old mine. Yeah. Which was really cool to stop at and get a sense of the history of the area. This is Independence Mine and it's in a very beautiful spot. Wow. Oh. In fact, it was not just a mine and a workable mine until pretty recently in history, but it had created an entire town in that area. They had a school room. This is true. They had kind of like the city hall. A lot of the mines had collapsed just recently. Yeah, just in the past year. Of the snow drifts and stuff. Wow. 
It was very hard for me to imagine how these people survived way up there in the mountains in this Alaskan middle of nowhere throughout the winter. Yeah. Must have been really tough living. It was crazy, but there's this beautiful little stream that kind of went down. Yeah. There's like this line of, you know, all collapsed domino mines coming down the hill, then a stream right in the middle of it. With a little bridge that went over it into a cool little museum where they had a a chipmunk squisher? What was that thing called? Chipmunk crusher. Yeah. What? And smashy, smashy chipmunk. Oh, chipmunk crusher. Oh my gosh. Bad name, but uh, I, I'm not sure it I don't crushed think it real crushed chipmunks. chipmunks. No. I think chipmunk was the name of something that was going on with the mining process. This is true. <laughs> we yeah. wanted a beefier mono shock. Well, we found one here. Mm. After that, Ryan said that he was going to take back off. We said goodbye to him for the last time, which is sad, but yeah. we are saying hi to you now, good sir. So we went down Archangel Pass, I believe it was called. Yes. I could get that wrong. Marissa may fact check me. I may fact check him. This is true. <laughs> Beautiful that we're crawling up into like this little corner armpit of this mountainside. Yes. This was more beautiful than an armpit. This little. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but wow. the road was also like mostly stones and stuff, and not that goopy, muddy. No, stuff. I would have turned around if it was oh, baby poo poo number two. Baby poo poo number two. <laughs> Mountains are popping out and it reminds me of Peru being nice. up like 15,000 feet. All it was missing was llamas. If there was llamas yeah. there, I would have been like me transportation the face. device, it yeah. worked. But there's still blueberry people everywhere. Picking. Oh, yeah, oh my God, how did they get here? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we descended down, and again, I always have kind of a uh, physics thing where going down is always harder than going up because mm. in Newton's gravity law. Did Newton make that law? Yeah. Heck yeah. But I'm you did in an motion, awesome job. trying to stay in motion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You <laughs> learn stuff here. Show your kids this stuff. <laughs> Show your so, kids this stuff. So we're we're making it down, bobbing around. And, and we finally get out and we descend into this beautiful little town that is Palmer. I, just a quick breakdown, like I have five pairs of underwear. <laughs> So if we extend past five days without me being able to wash them in a creek or whatever, there was no, like, there wasn't any bright sunny days. So I was, yeah. and I am not a turn them inside out and then turn them backwards, you know. Like, I, you need to have a little, you know, what do you, exorcism on those things. 
<laughs> so they needed they needed to go away. And, <laughs> and so yeah, we pulled into Palmer, uh, and there was a little laundromat that we, we we could do all the things that needed to be done. We were hoping to find such a thing, but that will all be in our next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. Suspension in and out. <laughs> and in and out. It's an exercise. You get, you get how you build your, your quads and your abs. <gasps>